All right, so what's up, chats? Welcome if you're new. Welcome back for no G. Now, today we got a couple of stories out of our hands. We got news about the PS5 and Xbox. And needless to say, they are doing helicopters with their wheelies. If you do not believe me, wait a couple of minutes. You will see what I mean in just a little bit, okay? And we got first information about the Black Ops Zombies. So I will be talking about it. Some pretty massive news about that. And we also got news about The Witcher 3. And there is just a small gaming news here on the side that I will be talking about. And with that, I just want to get right into it. If you're new here, I cover all the big gaming news so board the party and subscribe Mardo. and our first story is coming from david von der and i know that for the longest amount of time people like him and david von der was fired he was retired he's never gonna be working on call of duty again but he was indeed working on this game and this is what he says of course i'm gonna talk about zombies in just a little bit for sure but i guess that i, I need to talk about this because he says i can't wait for you all to see what we've been cooking up so that confirms that he's working on it quoted the Call of Duty tweet where they say that on September 9th we're gonna be having the multiplayer reveal which I'm my live stream for all of you Chad, Stud Muffins and everybody in between I got you guys and then we got homies on the streets okay and I want to actually uh, talk about the David Wanahar reply but this man on the streets by the name of whom says that hey man we already saw and listen man the Call of Duty community is back okay like I've seen your guys replies I've seen people on Twitter people saying that hey man this game looks bad this is trash and listen right I'm also kind of mixed about the league gameplay I've seen the, the two things that I dislike are the animations and the HUD, but I'm pretty sure they are gonna fix it, right? Like, I'm quite optimistic about this game, and David Von der Hart kind of dropped a little bit of hope, okay? He dropped a light of hope by replying to this man and says that, what, what if I told you you haven't seen... So yeah, guys, let's chill out till September 9th, and if the game is bad on September 9th, I'm gonna join you, okay? Like, I promise, I'm gonna join you, we're, we're gonna do this together, all right? But speaking of Witcher 3, and we have more news about Black Ops Zombies, which I will get to in just a little bit, but the Witcher Twitter account officially confirmed that Witcher 3 is coming to the next generation and it says that a visually and technically enhanced version of the game will be available for purchase for PC and next-gen consoles and as a free update for owners of the game on PC, Xbox One and PS4. And that is absolutely wild. I mean, like, I always like to give the example of Activision, you know, they're charging 10 extra papers and we got Witcher out here, you know, they're like, okay, we do not need your money, you know, we're gonna give you guys a free update. So that's a massive W, okay? Let me get some kids saying yay for that one. Needless to say, they're not doing helicopters with their willies. And speaking of doing helicopters with their willies, well, we got a ton of rumors, okay? This one is coming from multiple sources, and I gotta be honest, if you're if you're standing up, sit down, because this is, uh, I'm not sure how you guys will feel about it. Uh, I think that a lot of you guys will get a dopamine crash, because the thing is that multiple different sources are now saying that PS5 and Xbox, okay, both of these consoles, are gonna be $600. I, I don't understand why I did not see this coming. I do not understand why I did not see okay. this coming. I and I'm not sure about you, Chads, but personally, I don't think this is fake. I, I will not take this as a confirmation either. I would say this is more of like a placeholder, right? So that's how I will treat this information, but we got multiple sources saying the same thing now. And you know what? We got Sony over there and we got Microsoft over there. Both of them are doing helicopters with their wheelies, okay? And I'm kind of sus about it, right? Because knowing the fact that they haven't revealed the price nor the release date, and we're like, what, two months out till the, the console releases? And needless to say, I'm kind of sus, man. There is no other way for me to put it, right? Like the fact that they haven't released like the price, this kind of tells me that they're scared, man. They're really scared, okay? And I'm pretty certain that Bob absolutely believes that this console is gonna be like $400, maybe $500. And if this console is not $500, yo, Bob will get a dopamine crash. And you know what? You never wanna see Bob be dopamine deficient, okay? Let me put it that way. But a man on the streets, okay? A man on the streets by the name of Kevy says that looks like Pringles of all brands broke the Xbox Series X price for South Africa. And if my maths checks out, this puts the Series X at around 13 point or 13,500 R. Uh, that's the currency of South Africa locally and unsure if that's excluding tax. So you can see we got experts all around the block out here and we have an article as well. And in this article, it talks about the fact that if this is to be believed, that will be around 611 pounds and that will be over 800 and US dollars. But as gaming prices in the UK and the US have been seeing uh, parity in the past few years, the console could cost 599 US dollars in the US. And you know what? We also got Roberto Serrano. And in Urdu, I like to say this man got a shaitan no wali hasi. Okay, look at, look at that man. That's a shaitan no wali hasi, right? Uh, smash the like button for my man Roberto out here. In English, it means he got a devil laugh, right? Uh, but he says that according to Lithuanian Technorama store, PS5 will be 599 euros, okay? And the digital version, basically, that's the boneless version without the disc. 
it's gonna be 499 euros. The price is not final. The product is not available to pre-order. And then he says that according to the Lithonian Technorama store, Xbox Series X will be like 700 euros. So at that point, I'm like, hey, I don't believe it. I really don't believe that one. But what kind of effed it up here is the Pringles, right? The fact that Pringles is saying that Xbox Series X is gonna be like about 600 US dollars, that is wild. Because you guys remember when Doritos actually leaked the Call of Duty name and the logo? I mean, I I I'm getting that deja vu vibes, okay? I'm not sure, guys. And if that happens, that's gonna be nasty, okay? And he also says that a PlayStation 5 event announcement was scheduled last month for September 4th, and the new PlayStation event would be coming on September 7th, but the plans were changed. In other words, he's saying that, hey, they are just doing helicopters with their release, and September 9th is just a rumor, so no event planned for this date. And it's like, who do you believe in this situation, right? Because we know that, like, previously, Sony was looking to do the event uh, back in February. They delayed it till March, they delayed it till April, and all of that was confirmed when they actually did their event I believe in June or July I'm not sure they kind of like uh, delayed it by one week as well after announcing it so who do you believe do you believe the leaks do you believe the man Roberto Sereno who has been correct in the past and who also has been wrong in the past and even Tidex from everybody out here you know they have been pretty credible in the past they say that people keep asking me if this is true and they say that it is 100% true so at this point I'm convinced that they're doing helicopters with their release like this is count number four five I mean just take a shot every time I say that word okay like I'll just put it that way so at this point i'm convinced that they they are scared and they do not know like when they're gonna announce it or maybe they do know maybe sony is just waiting for microsoft which i believe in that one like they're waiting for microsoft to announce it because once they announce the price or the release date, they're gonna try to undercut them and same goes for microsoft if sony announces it before xbox does it xbox is gonna try to undercut them okay and speaking of call of duty esrb rated the black ops game by giving it a full-on description and we know a little bit about zombies we know about campaign and multiplayer and they actually rated the game as uh, M and you know what we got experts we got Dr. Inibal here sharing his expertise and then we got homies like that you know say that hey man a Call of Duty game that's rated. Color me shock. And if you go on the SRB website, this is the full on description. And I gotta be honest, if you actually zoom in on that, they are gonna be having high dopamine content in this game. So that, that's. But this is the description, and this is what it says. This is a first person shooter that is gonna be set during the Cold W era. Obviously, I cannot say certain words. In which players explore locations in Europe and Asia while engaging in combat infiltration missions. Player use pistols, SMGs, ARs, and explosives to kill the hostile forces to frenetic combat battles are highlighted by realistic gunfire blood splatter effects and cries of pain in addition to range combat players have the ability to stab or pistol whip enemies close up or use them as human shields some weapons cause characters to explode into bloody chunks of flesh and a zombie mode also depicts decapitations and a dismemberment uh, as players use bladed weapons and weapons to kill hordes of undead soldiers slash creatures in one setting flyers with the words peep show and you know what i obviously cannot say that word on youtube let's say x can be seen alongside pictures of women in lingerie at a red light district i mean that's high dopamine content a red light district storefront is depicted with a neon sign that reads x during one mission players infiltrate uh you know obviously i cannot say that word on youtube you know something that kind of makes you feel high packages and piles of white powder can be seen in a warehouse and the words are f and this appears in the dialogue and for sure our experts are kind of shocked right now people are saying that hey man so what kids uh, kids under 10 still gonna get their parents to buy it and these are facts but overall i'm really excited for zombies i i would say that i I have low expectations for black ops but i do have somewhat decent expectations for zombies and i'm just putting my hands together i'm hoping that <laughs> let's hope that zombies is good okay but let me know your thoughts and expertise in the comments below click on our video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and i will see you right there stud muffin now